Hi guys, my name is Megan and welcome to this Leo reading for the month of February. Before we get into the cards, I'm going to clear the energy, so be mindful if you're wearing headphones. All right. And since it is February, we're going to get a love oracle reading here for a card. All right. Oh, passionate. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Ooh, so this could be a very passionate month for you if you are with, if you do have a partner in your life. Um, it could be a very passionate sexual time for you guys in February. If you are single, it could be the same thing where you're very passionate with maybe somebody that you're meeting. So let's get some oracle cards here. Or it could just be the passion within you is igniting pretty heavily in February. So let's see. Leo. February. So we have release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding all change. Ooh, so there is a major transformation, a rebirth happening for you guys in February. You are shedding the petals of the past, the skin of the past, and major change and transformation is coming in. You are walking into a new version of yourself. They're showing me this snake when it sheds its skin and how it has this beautiful luminescent skin, this new healthy skin. Um, that is like you guys are shedding the skin of the past and walking into this new version of you in February. It's like you're more free. Your energy is more excited and free and passionate about life. Healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to oh, it's safe to soften. So this passion energy that's coming through is really helping you to soften your inner. They're showing me <laughs> like when you get near a cat and it starts growling at you. It's to soften that side of you that wants to be like the lion and like roar at somebody or to snap at somebody. So there's this energy of passion, whether it be expressed through another individual towards you and you guys create that passion together, it's also a passion energy coming from spirit to help soften and comfort and to, you know, mend what is feeling broken inside. And that's also a part of the shedding of the skin, you know, is healing the past, healing and letting go and trusting the process and being excited and passionate about this new adventure that you are embarking upon. And I also feel for some of you who are in a relationship or who are going to be meeting somebody that you're very passionate about, this energy, this communion with them is very healing to your soul. It's like the two of you coming together in this passionate way. Um, the, the act of two coming together is creating a healing energy vortex amongst both of you. And it's like that intimate act between you two is creating a very healing vortex energy um, that it's like... They're showing me a triangle. It's like you and your partner and then spirit. So the communion between all three is creating like a trinity vortex of healing. Leo. All right. 
growth. Yes. You guys have major growth and transformation taking place. You are rooting up like that tree that has sprouted up and is ready to, you know, um, give its blossoms off, you know, like in springtime when the blossoms start to grow and bloom, you are blooming. It's like this spring blooming energy coming through new growth and whatever you've been working on and manifesting, it's blossoming in February. Resistance. So this is you guys releasing the resistance to change because you have two, two words here, um, or I just said the word release and then we have release here again. So this is about releasing the resistance energy and allowing the winds of change to come in to guide you on the path towards this new beautiful energy, this new beautiful path that's presenting itself in February. When we have fear, sometimes we resist the change that's coming up because it can be scary. So they're telling me right now, some of you who are in a new union, Maybe you're afraid to really um, open yourself up to this new person because of the fear. And so you're resisting kind of giving it your all. But they're saying to don't do that because that's going to block this beautiful blessings and this blossoming that's about to take hold with you. This healing that's going to take hold with you in this new person. Or if you're single, it could just be the you know resistance energy of change that may come up in February but to really look at it and have courage to take and heed the guidance that spirit is you know blowing you know it's like they're showing me they're blowing these petals and creating like a breadcrumb trail for you to follow that path so follow what you're being guided towards and don't resist it through fear Ask spirit to help you walk through that fear and to push past that fear so that you get on the other side of that energy that is really beautiful new path for you. No holding back in February. Yeah, so five of cups, this is about sadness or, you know, lamenting on the past, loss, grief, um, feeling abandoned or unloved, having regret about what hasn't gone right in the past. So this energy is what you're walking away from. You are being offered a new portal to walk through in February away and leave all of these cups that were not fulfilling your needs or your wants or your desires. Leave all of them and turn away because Spirit has beautiful new offerings over here just behind you. You have to change your perspective, change what you're focused on, and these offerings, this portal will open up to you that's helping you grow. You know, that's... That's the portal into this growth energy is to walk away from that which is not serving you, what has, you know, not gone right in the past. It's okay. It taught you things. You, you learn certain things. And now it's time to embark on new, new energy, new territory. So don't fear the energy that's opening up for you. Take courage and walk through that new door. King of Wands. So King of Wands going under release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding and shedding all change. Yeah. So this King of Wands is this fiery, passionate, creative energy. Literally, um, the King of Wands is a bold leader. He's powerful. He's charming. He's courageous. So Take in that energy, that archetypal energy, even if you're a female, take in that archetypal energy um, or, you know, transfer it to the queen energy and feel this bold energy, this courageous energy, this passionate, fiery energy um, of knowing that life is beautiful, life is magical and using that energy to help you release and transform. 
and to walk away from what you need to, to shed what you need to, to help embark this new change, this transformation, this shift of energy. Two of pentacles. Oh my goodness. So we have choices here. Um, weighing some options. Um, maybe there's many options here. Or it could be a balancing act. You juggling certain things in February. So this is under healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. So this I feel is you guys deciding like should I, shouldn't I? Should I this? Should I not that? So this is about you battling this decision of should I trust this person? Should I impart, you know, embark on this new journey? Should I walk this new path? These are choices that you're making, but spirit is going to guide you to show you which option or which choice or which decision is in your best interest. But it's about you connecting with your higher self and creating time and space to do so through meditation or to create a calm, quiet space so that you can hear the guidance of your higher self and what they're reflecting back to you to help you heal and move past whatever's blocking you from making that choice to move forward. Page of Pentacles, yeah, resistance. So when you have resistance energy, it's like you want this over here, right? You want this abundance. You want this new love. You want whatever it is that you want. And it's just out of reach. Because you're not there yet. And once you make the shift energetically and you decide what you're deciding and you make that choice to be brave and bold and go through that new doorway or follow that new path, you know, it's like <laughs> they're showing me this card here. Like think of this like an airplane landing strip with the lights on the side. That's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So it's like they're guiding you and, you know, your guides and your angels are like those um, men on the... Or women on the, um, what you call it, the um, landing strip that are like, you know, using their lights to guide you like this way, right here, you know. And again, we have like a pathway or a portal here. So there's a lot of imagery here signi signifying like go through this way. Not over here, not over here, right here, right here. So this resistance energy, once you let go, this now that you want is no longer out of reach, but you get a leg up and you're able to now grasp that new love, that new abundance, whatever it is that you're seeking. You know, Page of Pentacles is someone who's patient. This could be about a new job, having patience um, and knowing that a new job is coming in, knowing that a raise is coming in, knowing that news about this abundance is coming in and to let go of the resistance of them trying to guide you into because what I'm seeing here is that maybe you guys are just out of reach of this abundance because you're trying to obtain it in the wrong area and so they're like no 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 let's get back on track that's this new doorway that's opening up this new portal that's opening up let's go here instead because that's where your abundance is it's not over here it's over here you know she's focused right here but if she would just turn around and look in a different direction that's where the abundance is that's where the blessings are that's the new energy that's coming in all right, let's get a final oracle card here. Oh, stop it. This is the perfect ending for this reading. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Trust in yourself, you guys. Trust in the guidance that you're being given. It's all coming together. Don't worry. All right, guys, I'm sending you so much positive energy. If that resonated, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.